Well, Indians fans, they made a big move in the middle of August here, trading for Jay Bruce. And I'll tell you this, this is a surprise to me. I didn't know that there was any more money left in the budget for them to go out and pick up a player. Because in effect, what the Indians have just done, they've spent $3.7 million, again, $3.7 million, to rent a guy for two months. And that's assuming the Indians go to the second round of the playoffs. This is not the kind of move they used to make in the old days. But clearly, ownership, you know, Paul Dolan and Larry Dolan, and plus, don't forget, since John Sherman has come in, the minority owner, they have been more aggressive in terms of adding payroll. You go dial it back, and you see that uh, Edwin Encarnacion, $60 million for three years. Boone Logan, a reliever, they threw $6 million bucks at him, and frankly, he's out for the rest of the year. And now they turned around, and they added, uh, uh, they added Bruce. And even with Joe Smith, they brought payroll onto that. So their payroll is now about $130 million, by far the biggest in franchise history. And, you know, they're doing this because, one, fans have responded. Now, the Indians are not breaking attendance records, but they're certainly way up from where they used to be. And secondly, I think they do see this as their opportunity. Now, I talked to Chris Antonetti uh, this morning, Thursday morning, about this. And he mentioned that another reason they felt doing this, yes, Lonnie Chisinau's hurt, Michael Brantley hurt. They need another outfitter, he said, but our pitching is starting to come around. And I hadn't thought about that. You know, remember, general manager, he's looking at the whole picture. Danny Salazar, since coming off the disabled list, three starts, a 1.35 ERA. Basically, that was like trading for a really good starting pitcher. A healthy Salazar gives you a real boost going into the playoffs. And then another guy that he's very excited about, since the All-Star break in five starts, Trevor Bauer, has a 3.35 ERA. Again, Bauer and Salazar coming around. I think that's a surprise for both for most of us to see both of them after the All-Star break really pitching well. You know, Kluber, you know, it's either going to be Kluber or Chris Sale winning the uh, Cy Young. I, could, I am concerned now about two guys. Carlos Carrasco has a 6.65 ERA since the All-Star break. And then the other pitcher who's struggling since the All-Star break with an ERA over six also is Mike Clevenger. But remember, if you have three good starters, that's all you need is three good starters, you can go far in the playoffs. <laughs> the Indians found a way last year to like sort of do it with, you know, one and a half. Yeah, Kluber was a good starter. Tomlin would pitch five innings, and then they were just piecing it together with whoever else is available because of their strong bullpen. So the Indians move forward not only because of Jay Bruce, but kind of the story behind the story has been the revival of Trevor Bauer and Danny Salazar since the All-Star break, convincing the front office and ownership that, hey, guess what, even though it's been kind of an up-and-down season, we could do something in the playoffs.